What's going on, guys? It's LME Rico TV, man, and I'm back with another quick video, man. We got some more breaking news coming out in the NBA, man. John Morant is yet again suspended from the Memphis Grizzlies a second time for having a gun seen by him on IG Live. Not only was this not on his actual IG Live this time, but it was on his friend's IG Live. They was listening to music and traffic, doing what they was doing. And next thing you know, John Morant ended up showing the gun again. The friend did try to cover up the camera, but it was already too late. And plus, everybody um, on social media pretty much clipped on and just been sharing pictures and parts of the video IG live um, of him showing the gun. And that was all she wrote. After that, Memphis Grizzlies caught wind. They suspended him again. Now, the NBA hasn't made a statement yet, I don't believe, at this time. Um, I'm pretty sure they will be coming real soon with some more um, information on the situation. And I definitely feel like they're not going to be light with him. I feel like this time, they definitely will possibly suspend him for a full season. And we already thought they were going to do that in the first incident, but they didn't. They only gave him eight games. And I think they find him as well. And he pretty much said what he said in a little PR move of doing an interview with Jalen Rose. A lot of people also didn't even feel like in that interview he was being genuine in the things he was saying. And ultimately, is low key looking like that's pretty much really what it was. Because now you here you are doing the same things again that got you in trouble the last time. Turning up, showing the gun and stuff. And I will say in the first incident, though, a lot of people were trying to say that that possibly really wasn't a gun only because of how small it was and that some lighters they do have look like a replica of a gun but really not a gun itself so he got a little bit of leeway with that one but this time now with the gun that was seen that he was holding it definitely looked more real and, and is definitely bigger than the last one that was seen in the first incident so it's not really looking too good for him right now so i feel like the NBA, like I said, will not be light. They're going to give him a full year suspension, I believe. And on top of that, a big fine. And because this is the second incident that he was involved in with a gun reportedly being seen. But this is not allegedly. This is for sure seen. So I feel like the league is definitely going to come with some heavy consequences towards him. And hopefully he better hope that that's all they do is get him a full year suspension and some fine money. But um, if not, like I feel like his career would definitely be in danger after this. Um, he's definitely going to have to do a whole lot to pretty much get back to the court. And on top of that, continue his career. It's definitely going to be a lot that he's going to have to do. And he's not going to be given a lot of leeway going forward just because he had too many incidents where he's been reckless on IG Live doing things. So with that said, man, um, really like Ja. I like everything he brings to the game as far as his talent. But off the court, it's definitely not looking too good at all. It's not something he should want to portray for his image. Being a street guy, you in a league, you making millions on millions, playing a sport. Not too many people can say they able to just do that for their career job. And um, yeah, man, it's just it's just very unfortunate that this is the way he's choosing to pretty much be as he is right now. Like it's not looking good at all. It's just it's just kind of sad at the end of the day, man. But at the end of the day, he a grown man. He made his choices and that's what it is. He got to live with him. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel like this situation going to go moving forward. Um, and what do you guys think will happen? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end right now. I'll definitely update you guys once the NBA uh, releases more information on what they plan to do with him. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised that he's going to have to do a lot to return to the court. I feel like he will have to do a full year suspension, fine money, and some other things as well um, that they're going to require him to do and complete before he is able to return to the court. But we, like I said, just going to have to wait and see how the NBA will also handle this situation, given that this is his second time. So with that said, though, man, y'all go ahead, drop down to the comments and let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Also, don't forget to like the video, 
show as well and don't forget to share and also if you were watching this on youtube don't forget to hit that subscribe but with that said though man that's the end of this video and man i'm gonna catch you guys later on more peace